what's going on you guys and welcome back to part two of the wicked ways of a narcissist i apologize for taking so long to get back with this video i got busy cooking washing clothes and i had to take my dog out so again i apologize for that but i left off on part one where the narcissist they are still watching you and peeking around the corner and, and just watching your every move and stalking you. And this happens even in the workplace because this is where I have to deal with it the most. And so the narcissist, they're just trying to give you a message that, look, you know, you can run, but you can't hide. And I'm going to always be here. This is the message that she's trying to make clear to me. And she's even picked up on like my every move. She even tried to get ahead of the game and be somewhere where, you know, do something or be in a workstation where she know that I have to be. I've even noticed that, okay, Friday, I came into work like 45 minutes earlier than I had to be there so that I can leave earlier to go to my dentist appointment, which, by the way, I got a cleaning and a polishing in my teeth. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God. Like I love this new dentist office, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, and so, you know, you just feel so good about yourself, even though you went through all this with a narcissist. That's another thing I wanted to get through, but I'm probably going to have to do another video on it. But anyway, yeah. So I came into work like 45 minutes early on Friday so I can leave early. She didn't know this. Of course, she don't know. She don't need to know. It's none of her business. She wasn't expecting me to be there. So when I came in, y'all, she was in my workstation and she was like, I don't, it's, I wish I had a way of setting up a camera at work. If I can get away with it without getting in trouble for violating, you know, people's privacy. I mean, you know, that goes against the rules. You can't bring cameras to work and record people. I wouldn't do that. But if I could really like just let y'all see what I'm talking about. It's like she was trying to stand like I stand. Like, why are you in my workstation and yours is empty? And she was so thrown back by the fact when she seen me walking in the door. Her eyes got big like a deer in headlights. I mean, she hurry up. When I went to my locker, I didn't make nothing of it. I you know, I just play it off and pretend like I don't see her stand up here, you know, at the table where I work and she's doing things the way I do it. I'm like, why are you right here in my spot? I mean, it's like you coming to work and everybody got their own desk. And the narcissist is sitting at your desk and pretending to be you. That is creepy as hell. And I see this and I'm like, nobody else in here y'all don't see this y'all don't see like my boss like you didn't think to ask her why are you working in her you know because my boss knew i was coming in earlier that day but nobody else did it's none of their business and so anyway she seen me she didn't know what to how to contain herself she hurried up and moved all the stuff over to her spot and by the time i came from my locker and everything yeah she had moved but she didn't see me I, I seen her, she ran over to go look at the time clock. And I'm like, she's trying to see what time it is so she could see what time I came in. Which means she figured that if she came in early, she leaving early. Dang, which means she knew I was going to leave earlier than her that day. That just ruined her day. Oh boy, she just got to just make an unnecessary noise, just slamming things around. Just wicked. She see me in a conversation with another co-worker, and I'm talking about a substitute. It's not my fault that when the substitutes come, they like to be around me. They enjoy working with me. They like being around a more settled spirit. Those people don't like mess and drama. They just want to come there and get the work done. Like, why even put them through that? You know, we are in a permanent position. That's where they're trying to be someday. So the last thing they want to, you know, kind of include themselves in is a lot of mess, drama, chaos, and confusion. So they like to be around me. I've heard this from these people. And so it's like when she sees us laughing and talking and, you know, during the moment, whatever it is going on at work, she likes to come around 
and just make noise like she's trying to you know just um make it known that i'm here like you know like her uh, um presence is so much more important than what we're talking about she just wants to be the distraction to let me know that she's still there and she ain't going nowhere but we just kind of tune her out that's all we just tune her out it's like a baby you know you ever notice when Say, for instance, a, a group of people are having a conversation. They get kind of loud, and a baby, they want to they wanna get in on the talk. So they making, you know, they doing a baby talk and making loud noises, and you just kind of laugh at them like, oh, you know, this is what the narcissist is doing. Like, they are dying for attention that she's not going to get, not from me. So I just noticed these things about narcissists. They're wicked. They got very wicked ways. Another thing about narcissists, what she do, what else does she do? Oh, she, um, yeah, like I say, to go back to that, when she's a, when she come and address me about something or, you know, inquire about whatever needs to be done, it's the tone that she used when she tell me. But when other people are around her, she has to put on an act to sound so sweet and kind when she's asking, like, and she says, um, Felicia. I don't know um, if you know how many we need for lunch, but we're going to need 15. I think you did 12 earlier. And I'm like, you, you only, you only doing this because you know, certain people are around you. It's just so fake. Sometimes I even laugh and you know, she knows, she know that I know that it's all a show. It's all a put on. And she helped to do this to keep up that, that fake image to other people. But I know better. And that's all that matters at this point. And so, um, what else is it? They just do very low down dirty things. It's like parking, like the way she parks, she have to park her car in a way like, I don't know, what do they call it? Grand, grandiosis or something like that. Like she's just the boss, like she's the queen. And she has such a bar barbaric way about doing things. There's nothing feminine or ladylike about her. It's like she walks around with her chest in the air to let you know she's superior to everyone. Just wicked. I mean, if you ask me, I'll call it wicked. Wicked ways of a narcissist. So anyway, if you all enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.